there's vacation staycation and then there is seacation be it weddings birthday parties corporate trips or long weekends there is no end to the reasons why indians are increasingly choosing to celebrate or spend their time on cruises the government is hoping to make india a global leader in cruise tourism but achieving that number may not be easy considering we are just at 3 lakh passengers per year compared to europe that sails about 40 lakh passengers per year and united states that sailed about 1.2 crore passengers in 2022 I am on board Costa Serena an international cruise carrier that is currently sailing along Mumbai Goa Lakshadweep and Chennai routes as i take you inside the ship we will talk more about the indian cruise tourism industry and the potential it offers According to government data cruise ship calls into Indian ports have risen from 102 in 2013-14 to 227 in 2022-23 That's a 220% surge in cruise calls. So how strong is this demand for cruises in India? Well, according to a survey by Thomas Cook, 70% respondents said they would prefer a seacation, and these are the Indian Gen Zs, millennials, young couples and working professionals. A cruise ship offers an all-inclusive trip without the hassle of multiple check-in, check-out and transfers. An international cruise vessel like Costa Serena has an array of onboard entertainment options, casinos, nightclubs, shopping mall and rejuvenating options like spa wellness. Passengers get extensive dining options including cafes and buffets to multi-gourmet restaurants. India is expecting to grow its cruise revenue from 110 million dollars currently to 5 billion dollars in the years to come. I'll again compare this with Europe that clocked a revenue of 5 billion dollars in 2022 and United States that is expecting to do a revenue of 13 billion dollars in 2023. But the government is taking some serious steps to promote cruise tourism to meet its goal. Apart from building infrastructure, removing and reducing various operating charges, the major push has been the exemption of 5% IGST for foreign vessels. Whatever infrastructure so far been developed particularly to attract their cruise liners, developing the international cruise terminal at Visakhapatnam, Chennai, Goa, then Cochin, then Mumbai. So that we are, we are confident that tomorrow whatever like cruise liner may show their interest to come explore this we are always there to welcome them and provide them best possible facilities so that there can be ease of doing business of ease of sailing and the ease of doing business approach has got many international cruise liners approaching the government to operate in the indian market so far Uh, everybody wanted to come here but there was always this element of uh, ease of doing business so the starting point the gst 5% gst on the vessel cost of the vessel if it were if it is not waived it would have cost crores and crores to come so obviously it won't have come but the very fact they waived it a lot more cruise liners will look at india There's increasing interest from foreign tourists to explore India, but even domestic tourists are keen on exploring the Indian Ocean, the rivers and the islands. The option of going on short-haul destinations like Asia and the Middle East has made cruises more attractive. It's affordable, more fun and all this in just a few days. With cameraman Prashant Gogey, this is Madhiha for CNBC TV18.